Hello everybody, so in this video we'll see how to send emails in Node.js using Node.Mailer and Gmail for free. The emails are free. So let's go. We require Node.Mailer. This is the module we, we require and another module XOAuth2. And then we create a variable that we'll call transporter. And we write node mailer create transport and an object as an argument service Gmail auth and another object XO auth two XO auth two create XO auth two generator and an object as an argument user in user will see will write the sender email our email that we'll use to send emails the client id and that and uh, this client secret and the refresh token we'll let these properties empty now and we'll return to them and now we create um, another variable so that will contain the mail options from we have to put the email our email the sender email and we can put any name we want here we we wrote Kiefer and now we write the addresses the receiver addresses and the subject and the last one is the text we want to, to send now we write the code that will send the email transporter send mail in mail options and function here and response if there is an error we log it and if else we wrote that email is sent now here is our sender email it's sent mail there is no sent mail and this is the inbox of the receiver email it's empty to mission forty okay now we go to google console api console and api and we create a new project if you want to use a new project or if there is no project and you name it as you like we wait until the project is open and we go to Gmail API and we enable the API. Now we go to credentials, to OAuth consent screen and we give a product name, save and now create OAuth client ID, web application in, we go to Google OAuth playground we open this and we copy the link that will put past in authorized redirect URIs now we use this client ID and client secret in our code copy and past and now we have to get the refresh token so we go to this and we use our id and secret now you you write here https colon slash slash mail dot google dot com and we click authorize api we allow
exchange authorization code for tokens and we check but to refresh the token before it expires and we copy the refresh token we got we got and paste it here now we can use our code but before we install our npm modules and mailer and excel of two and now we can run the app we wait and the email is sent we can verify it we have now an email sent here and in our receiver email we have an email in our inbox thanks for watching and if you have any question about this video or anything about Node.js don't hesitate to ask it in the comments and I will answer you and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you <laughs>